Y'all world, what's the deal? It's your boy, Original, back with another one for y'all. Check this out today on my YouTube channel. I want to tell y'all about a very significant event that's occurring December 21st, 2020, right? And this is the age of Aquarius, right? This is when Jupiter and Saturn form what's called a great conjunction in Aquarius, right? And this energy is very forward moving, it's very progressive, it's very positive, right? And it's gonna affect everybody on the planet, right? It's gonna really start a whole new revolution in uh, social issues, technology, and um, our spiritual beliefs that will be changed during this time. And this energy, right? This um, great conjunction energy between Jupiter and Saturn it will last in Aquarius, like this energy will be dominant, like for the next 40 years. Like this will be dominant for the next 40 years. We are in the age of Aquarius. This is the age of Aquarius. This is a new golden era of the human race. But it will be most potent for the next 40 years. So if you plan on living for the next 40 years, please watch this video till it's full completion. Now, it's a lot of talk going around like um, the world is going to end on December 21st, 2020, right? Because this event has been talked about um, way before, you know what I'm saying? Me and you was even around. Um, this event has been documented by every ancient civilization on planet Earth. From the ancient Mayans to the ancient Egyptians to the ancient Hindus. They've all documented a time which we will awaken to our truth and we will awaken to our power and our knowing. And we will begin to develop and innovate at a, you know, very impressive rate, right? And we will change. It'll be basically a golden era on earth because our ideas, our spiritual perspectives are changing our social perspectives you know our economic structure is changing our government officials are becoming more diverse all of this is going to happen within the next 40 years and it's going to change everything right it's going to change everything right and i'm seeing a lot of religious people you know saying oh this is the coming time this is the end you know what i'm saying the end of the world you know and this is significant because what y'all got to understand is like, we've been in what's called the age of Pisces for the last 2,000, you know, 100 years. We've been in an age of Pisces, right? And this is a fish energy. This is um, this the symbol of Pisces, right? The astrological symbol represents a fish, right? And um, what's significant about this, what I'm telling you this is because... Um, Jesus, right, the, the most dominant religion, um, the Christ, the uh, Christianity, if this was started during, the, you know, the um, age of Pisces, right? And this is why a lot of people, um, if you're religious, you're like, or even if you're not religious, you probably have seen, like, um, Jesus, like, name within a fish or Jesus being related to a fish somehow, like, um, his name was, i seen, it's like some type of logo where it's a fish, where it's Jesus' name within a fish. And that's symbolic to the age of Pisces. And the the ideas of um, religion are going to become questioned and spirituality for humans will change, right? It'll become more like, you know, the psychic 60s. If any older people are watching this, this is what's about to happen um, in its own unique way, in its um, technologically advanced way. We're about to go through like a, a psychic 60s again, but it's about to be um, a span that stretches for 40 years, right? And it's going to affect everybody. Um, it's mainly going to affect you in your uh, career and your love life during these next 40 years like um, a lot of change will come uh, with people's careers because things will become more internet based 
um, and um, the demand for different jobs is going to change. Um, it's going to be a lot of merging with technology, right? That y'all got to be prepared for and um, some huge advancements. Because just if you think about, uh, you know, just the last 20 years, everything that's happened, like uh, all of the advancements in technology, it's been so many things that happened in the last 20 years. Just imagine what the next 40 years, uh, autonomous cars, um, robotic assistance, um, you know, uh, it's going to be all type of autonomous uh, technology. The 5G is coming out. Um, it's two new game consoles. They then upgraded the game systems. The PS5 and the Xbox X. You know what I'm saying? Series X. Um, they upgraded technology. And over the next 40 years, we're going to see some huge leaps in technology. Some huge leaps in spirituality. You know, um, it's, we're moving into a time where people are going to question and they're going to um, need science to prove their belief. And we're moving out of the age of I believe to prove it to me. Like this this age is literally prove it to me. Um, it's a very uh, forward thinking, a very progressive, uh, innovative time we're moving into in the age of Aquarius. And a lot of people are not going to make it. A lot of people are going to be stuck to the old way of doing things. They're not going to be able to um, adapt and uh, learn the internet or uh, move their business online or move with the change in times, you know. But um, like I said, this is a ready or not energy, right? This um, this age of Aquarius is a ready or not energy. It's like the symbol of Aquarius is literally the water bearer now. It's like... Um, the age of Pisces, we was in the water. You know, we was the fish. We was going around in a cycle, in a cycle, in a cycle. It's like Pisces is literally fish chasing each other in a cycle. It was, it's, um, Pisces represents a humanitarian to, a togetherness, but it also represents an escapism and a dark, um, you know, um, a dark type of energy as well. You know, so we're going from that type of energy to controlling the water now to pushing and um, promoting uh, new wisdom and new knowledge and flooding like it's literally gonna flood everybody and a lot of people are not gonna be able to fully accept the age of Aquarius but I'm telling you from, from now you know what I'm saying well it's happening right now right now what's significant um, it's the Mars retrograde I could tell you about that real quick but we go through the Mars retrograde it's October 18th 2020 and this is going to last all the way into the election right and this is symbolic because it's going to be a lot of chaos it's going to be a lot of confusion uh, a lot of you know it's not a time to take action it's a time to um build and think and research and get your ammo and get prepared um but what's about to happen is it's going to lead all the way up into the election this this retrograde the mars retrograde it don't stop until the election and what's going to happen is Joe Biden and Kamala Harris is going to become uh, the president. And, um, you know, Trump is going to say all the time. He's not going to, Trump is not going to do a, what's called like an honorable transfer of power. There's going to be a lot of like, uh, a lot of that. And he's going to say it was rigged. You know what I'm saying? Because we're going through a time where a lot of uh, numbers could get manipulated. All type of stuff. Mail could be delayed. Uh, lost, you know what I'm saying, thrown away on purpose, like, it, it's a lot that's about to happen in this time, but by Joe Biden and Kamala Harris becoming uh, the president, that's going to be the start of the next four years of our economic, political, social, spiritual change, you know, um, I don't want to make too many bold predictions, but some way, somehow, uh, Kamala Harris is going to become the actual president and that's going to change a lot like just because that's a real black woman you know and that's going to change a lot and it's going to be a lot of uh, political figures that are minorities that are like Muslims black you know uh, Mexican like it's just going to switch up it's about to switch up uh, a lot of the injustices that we felt were going to be addressed and they're going to be uh, 
addressed in a very positive, memorable, remarkable type of way. And yeah, we're just moving into a very advanced time. And um, you got to be able to adapt to the internet. You got to be able to communicate. You got to be able to uh, have an open mind because this energy, the thing about, let me tell you all about energy. Like these planets, they send what's called um, FRBs to Earth, right? And um, these are called fast radio bursts, right? These planets send fast radio bursts that affect everybody on the planet. And, uh, you know, our government, they got satellites that could track this shit and they could track uh, FRBs or fast radio bursts. And, like, when you understand the magnitude for a planet that far away to send a signal to Earth and the FRBs have just been increasing. And that's, that's what's about to happen on... Um, on Earth for the next 40 years during this age of Aquarius, during the most potent time of the age of Aquarius, right? Um, the next 40 years, you know, we're going to be getting frequencies and downloads of information. But the thing is that you have to be a receiver. You have to be ready for these informations because it's ready and not information. Like you can get the energy and not know what to do with it. So I will prepare myself. Like, if I were you, prepare yourself you know, for, you know, new positive information coming your way. Because it's, it's going to just happen to you. It's going to just happen to you energetically, you know. So, if y'all need more help understanding what's going on, just leave a comment. Uh, but, it's very real stuff, man. It's your boy. I'm out. Peace.